Oh shit! They're in front and behind us as well. Get the fuck down, bitch. The other one's pushing you. Oh, these guys got turned on. So according to warzonerank.com, the XM4 has been pulling up in the races and now it is the third most used AR in Warzone. But if we take a look at the class setups that people use, I believe this is the wrong one to use. And most of the people use the long range, which is the actual arms three times, task force barrel, fuel agent grip, agency suppressor, and the 60 round mag. And again, I believe this is the wrong way to use it. So this XM4 is best paired up with a sniper. And if you put those together, oh my, you are in for a treat. Now let's jump into that first attachment. So I know a lot of people like to use the agency suppressor, but for this one, we're gonna be going with the SOCOM limit here. Two reasons. Number one, the agency suppressor penalizes you way too much with the ADS time. So again, this one, we're gonna be faster while aiming, and we do get a tremendous increase in the vertical recoil control. And that is all that we want with this class. Next up, we're gonna be going with the barrel. People use the task force, but for this one, we're gonna be running with a ranger barrel on this one. And again, it's basically exactly the same. With the task force, you do get that extra damage range, but it does hinder your mobility way too much. So the ranger is not only gonna be quicker, but also the vertical recoil is also gonna be better than in the task force. And that is what the XM4 has. So as of right now, we've already got two attachments better than the long range setup for that recoil control. And on the bottom of the gun, it's gonna be exactly the same. We're gonna stay with the field agent grip. And then if we flip this beautiful golden XM4 for the optic, we're not gonna be running the three times, but we're gonna be running the microflex LED. Obviously, since it's a sniper support, we're gonna be using this, but it also gives us better range ADS time than the three times. And then on the bottom of the gun, you could use the 45 round mag, but I do kind of think 60 rounds is good for this gun. I do feel that 45 just runs way too quickly. So I do like running the Stanag 60 round mag in this gun. And ladies and gentlemen, this gun, believe me, it is a beamer. It kills insanely quick, no recoil on this gun, and you got better movement than the long range. Pair this up with a sniper and you guys will see marvels. Ladies and gentlemen, let's jump right into that gameplay. There, there's people here. Got contact. Have I thought? Setting rally point. Throwing stun. Damn, Dookie. How the fuck did he beat you up? Oh, what a fucking shot, bro. No, wait, what a- Give me that! Mmm! Strella P! No way that was him, bro. Yo, he came up as soon as you came up and you, like, his, uh, I saw your fucking name, you know? Like, when you see the fucking name right above that. I'd freak the fuck out. How about you, Trippy? I'm 
Dude, that's a kill every time. Nice play, BJ. Fucking shot him on the side. We got a lot of people there. Right there. No, I put that potato. No way. Pictures. Oh my god, what a bad snipe. Contact. Are they over there? Yeah. Why would you be peeking that? You're in a very... Yo, there's four people over here on me. Destination mark. Oh shit, I'm coming, I'm coming. Right where those are. No way I got sniped from there. Fucking hell. Mind your own business.